All right, we're at day three of building this section of fencing. And my father-in-law's here. Everyone's hey. been asking about you, Randy. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm here, guys. Where you been? Everyone wants to know. I'm fine. Um, He's fine. Just Vaca been busy. I took a little vacation. Vacation. And now he's back at it, back to work. <laughs> In the cold. I don't believe it, but my phone tells me it's, it's snowing right now. Hey, pigs. I don't know, I think the pigs are getting big. Are you going to be ready for freezer camp this year? As much as I don't like snow, I wish it would snow a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Hey, look who showed up. My neighbor, Ben. <laughs> he came to drop off my fridge. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's a game changer. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> so, this barn is kind of in our way. Otherwise, I would hammer it on this side, but we have no room there. So, we're going to have to come in on this side. have a pen a proper pen so we're using this just giant nails and we're gonna cut the head off of them plus these are just a lot more cheaper The other nail. This H brace is done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, about six, seven posts that we just concreted. Uh, and then we have to wait till they cure. It's amazing what you could get done with two people after these dry out a little bit and we compact them down more. Then we could start stretching some fence. That's how you roll out a giant roll that's too heavy. You start at the top of the hill and then you work your way down. We'll need to wrap this on one of the ends and then start stretching it. But we need to cut out some pieces here so we could wrap it. Holding it up as oh, a that, weight. That weight? <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
this part this part you just really have to just get in there get in there We're gonna try something a little different this time. We're using that far post as the stretcher post. We're not putting anything here, these are gates. We're gonna put and then, so that way this can be, this end can be more stretched and more tight. A lot of steps need to happen before you stretch a fence, whether you put T posts or wood posts. And then, it is then you're ready. We are trying, we are trying to beat the rain. Also it's supposed to rain in the next four days. So that might put a ham damper, that might put a damper on our fence building. <coughs> See this? <coughs> So much easier from the bottom. <clears throat> Can you do it? That hole. Right, so it wants to stand up on its own, which we want. Got to help it. Locking them up. We're locking up those pigs. And this is kind of like a corner. Cause it goes straight and then it goes, it hooks the left a little bit. It's tight right here. <clears throat> yeah. I'm wondering if we get some staples and we just like pack in a staple. If we did it here, so if it's still stretched, there's room, right? <clears throat> For it to move. Yeah, you don't do it super tight. Right. The staple. Put a couple. Just to in. keep it in place. <laughs> that might be it. Is that it. We're looking pretty tight here. Uh, you know, it's kind of funky because it's not in a perfect straight line, and we have a hill to work with. I'm gonna end up painting these posts and this fence. Eventually, I'm gonna paint them. Uh, I just didn't wanna do it right now. I'm just gonna have to. Who knows when I'll paint them or if I ever will. I like containing all my animals. <laughs> I need total control. <laughs> I know. 
we're gonna loosen this and hopefully hopefully it's still tight Yeah, so all these snails that we pulled in is keeping it tight. And then we're gonna cut it. How far? Don't cut it too short. I think that looks pretty good. That might have been our best work yet. I think the trick is having that other post out there to work off of to stretch it helped this look a little bit nicer. Bernice, I'm locking you up, Bernice. All right, so that's another 100 feet we knocked out. And I'm starting to see it, guys. I'm starting to see a vision. I'm starting to see like, okay, we have 200 feet here, 100 feet here, and then we're gonna keep on going up. And I'm starting to see it because we can actually see a fence here. And it's amazing that this is even here right now when I can look out and see this. Uh, eventually, we're not done with this yet. I mean, this is kinda gonna go in stages. Um, I wanna make this a wooden fence and put like maybe a one by six that up on the top and then a one by six in the bottom maybe paint it uh, and then also eventually put a single hot wire that goes on the top you know you can either put a hot wire or you could put that other wire with the spiky things barbed wire that's what i'm talking about you know grass is always greener with the cows on the other side so they might reach over something might hop over but i want to put a hot wire we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and this is looking tight, but in the meantime, this is this is gonna do, you know? This is gonna be it in the meantime. Bernice, how did how did you get on this side? How did you get on this side? You need to be on that side. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's like we're still heavy. <laughs> So how do we you know, tie it in? We still have 200 feet of this. Uh, so we have this to, for the other side of the barn. And then the next spot for this, this is gonna be a gate, like two gates here. And I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this part of the pasture area. We're not done yet. March 11th, Randy, that's my deadline. March 11th? Yeah, you think we could do it? <laughs> well, with, with the other piece, yeah. <laughs> So the next phase is this side of the barn. You don't know how many times me and Randy try to mess with this hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of times we thought we had it fixed. <sighs> yes, because there, there used to be an old hydrant right there when we first moved and we thought, oh, let's just replace the hydrant. Yeah. But come to find out, there's no water there's at no all. Water at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have to relocate that hydrant. Is what we're gonna end up doing. That was easy. Yep. <laughs> I've been adding a rock in the posts. Sometimes two rocks. Something for the post to sit on instead of just dirt and then concrete.
All right, we made it before it rained. What are you making? I'm making a pear and cranberry crumble, so I have to cook this down. And then I've got other things going on in the kitchen too. Okay, so the other night we had um, honey cranberry juice, which I canned last year in August. And I strained it out, we drank the juice. It was delicious, easiest thing to can. So leftover are the cranberries, and then I'm just gonna put them into my fruit crumble. Oh, and then we have some smoked beef. Uh, we've been smoking this all day. Yes, yeah, half the day. Okay, so Penelope needed to use the oven to bake her scones, but I was making, I was rendering lard today. And so I thought, hey, the smoker's already at 250. So I just threw this in here probably about for 30 minutes. And it's totally fine. We've had smoked lard before and it's really delicious. So it kind of, the smoke will give it a nice smoky flavor um, when it's all done. Okay, so it clearly was not done. Still has some bigger pieces in here it needs to render down. But I'm gonna stick it back in my oven and then let it finish off in there for the next couple of hours. You're baking all the stuff tonight. Yeah, that's how it usually happens. Okay, so this is pear and cranberries. It's really delicious. I got the crumble ready to go. So we have grass-fed beef, rice, and then salad, plus pie. Penelope made scones. All right, the pie's done. We have a scone. We have peach crisp. Uh, it's pear, pear and crisp. cranberry. Very good. Good job, Lorraine. Everything's oh, good. Thank you.